Hello students, today we are going to discuss another topic of learn standard syllabus. Elastic potential energy. See, first of all, is, let us consider a spring. This is the spring. This is the natural length of the spring. If I am applying the force on a spring, the spring is stretching. Spring is a stretching. If the same force is applied on the spring, again, the spring is a compressed from this original length or from the natural length. The force is applied, the spring stretching certain distance, the same force or certain force supplied or compress the body is compress certain distance from the original distance. So why? Because of this force, the body has to be deformed. Body has to be deformed. This is the original position of the spring. If I, I am applying the force, the original shape of the spring changed. So the body is deformed. They are changing the position. When the body is deformed, some work is said to be done on the body. The work done is stored as energy. That energy is called potential energy. This is the natural length. The force is applied. Suppose 1 Newton, 2 Newton continuously I am applying the changing the position. The body is deformed. When the body is deformed, whether the compress or stretching, some energy is stored on its string. That energy is called potential energy. Energy is called potential energy. Okay. Let us consider a spring placed on a smooth board. The same spring placed on smooth board. One end of the spring is fixed on the side of the side. Another end connected to some mass. That is some mass of the body. Let us consider the spring. This is the spring. It is a natural length. That is the original length length of the spring. One end is a fixed on the wall, another end is a connected to the mass of the body. Mass of the body. This is a original length or natural length of the body. If there's some force is applied on the body, some force is applied on the body, the body is elongated. Body is elongated, changing the position. So the body is a deformed. When the body is deformed, some energy is stored. How? I am applying the force. Body changing the position. The body is changing the position. This is a natural length. Now length changes from, suppose when x is equal to 0, if x is equal to or 1 centimeter or 2 centimeter. From original, original length of the spring is maybe the 10 centimeter. When the force either 5 Newton or 10 Newton applied on the mass of the body, body changes, the body is deformed. Now the body is not deformed, now the body is deformed. So from 1, that is maybe the 10 centimeter to 11 centimeter, when the change is position from 10 cm to 11 cm, the body stores some energy from this. So this is the natural length. The natural length, the body does not store any energy. Here, when the force is applied on the body, the body changes the length. The body is deformed, the energy is stored. Now the energy is stored because of the body is deformed when the external force is applied on the body. So when the external force or applied force FPA, applied force FPA, suppose, same spring when it is a compressor from the natural length so the body when the force is applied in the opposite direction it is a compress now the force is applied in the opposite direction this is applied force F A. Here the applied force acting along the x direction. 
with the applied force acting opposite direction of x direction that is a minus x axis minus x axis in both cases so this is the original length when phi newton applied on the body or sata newton any one of the force any magnitude of the force applied to the body body changes nature of the body changes the body is a deform so the length increase from 10 cm to 1 cm now the same phi newton is applied applied it changes once again from 10 cm to 9 cm in both cases in both cases the energy stored in is stream in this case it is a natural length natural length of the stream no energy stored because no force is applied on the body okay the force applied along the direction of x axis opposite direction of x axis in this case body is stretched here the compress during stretching or compress the body deformed during stretching it is elongated during stretching it is elongated now it is a compress length of the spring depress that's the string is now length changes from 11 cm 10 cm to 9 cm here the length changes from 10 cm to 1 cm 10 cm to 1 cm in both cases some energy stored in a stream that energy is called elastic potential energy elastic potential energy let us consider this is in equilibrium position this is the equilibrium position no energy is stored in a stream if the force is applied on the string some energy is stored if the sata newton is applied on the spring along the x axis along x axis for example this is the spring some force is applied some force is applied the same time some another force is applied in opposite direction of applied force that force is called the spring force that is called a restoring force the body is tries to restore the original position so it is a natural length i am applying the force one direction the same time some force exists on the spring to restore the original position restore original portion that force is called spring force the spring force is always acting opposite direction so yep yes i am applying the force of phi newton the body elongated so body has to be stretched from 11 cm to 10 cm to 1 cm at the same time another one more force is acting on the spring opposite direction of applied force that is spring force or restoring force spring force or restoring force now the force is applied one direction that is along positive x axis the restoring force acting opposite direction x axis so f a is equal to f s but minus so the magnitude of the applied force which is equal to magnitude of the spring force if i am applying the phi newton along the x axis same phi newton exist on the spring in opposite direction so the applied force spring force that is the spring force nothing but restoring force so applied force which is equal to spring force the phi newton supplied same phi newtons acting opposite direction tries to restore the original position of the spring so the magnitude of the applied force which is equal to magnitude of the spring force magnitude of spring force but in opposite direction so magnitude are equal mag phi newton applied in one direction the same phi newton acting opposite direction magnitude are equal but direction are opposite direction the direction opposite so applied force acting first x axis when is a stretching restoring force acting opposite direction of x axis that is negative x axis but in this case i am applying the force along negative x axis same phi newton same phi newton but the same time another phi newton acting so f s or restoring force or spring force acting opposite direction of the applied force now the spring force acting along positive direction positive x axis now the applied force is acting negative y axis negative x axis the spring force acting positive x axis in both cases 
here the stretching it is a compress in both cases the applied force is always equal to spring force but the magnitude of the applied force which is equal to magnitude of spring force but they are in opposite direction they are in opposite direction where the force is applied on the spring restoring force always acting opposite direction i am applying the force along one direction so the body tries to restore the original position that is in opposite direction continuously by default it is a nature of the spring so continuously the body tries to restore the original position tries to restore the original position i am applying 10 newton one direction same 10 newtons acting opposite direction so applied force is always equal to restoring force applied force is always equal to restoring force so restoring force nothing but spring force restoring force nothing but spring force we know that according to the hooke's law the force applied on a spring directly proportional to distance x represents a distance so it is nature of the length it is at equilibrium position the body is not store any energy the potential potential energy of the body so potential elastic potential energy is equal to zero here why the body is not deformed no force is applied on it here the some force applied along the direction x axis opposite direction of x axis so anyhow both in both cases the body deformed energy is stored here the potential energy is stored we do not know what is the magnitude of the potential energy stored in a spring we can calculate later by using the formula anyhow in both cases the energy is stored so potential energy always is storing potential energy always storing if the force is applied the body displays how much distance x distance if 5 newton suppose instead of 5 newton i am applying the 10 newton one second changes the position when the force is applied continuously changing the displacement so force directly proportional to displacement when is a stretching similarly when the force is using opposite direction when the body has to be compressed by newton the body deformed from 10 cm to 1 cm or 9 cm instead of 5 newton 10 newtons applied from 10 cm already is on 9 cm now it may be the 8 cm or 7 cm so the force directly proportional to displacement the magnitude of the force increases the distance or displacement either compress or stitching also increase so force directly proportional to x or force f is equal to when the proportional is removed keep always constant so that constant is equal to k k x what is k k is called force constant k is called force constant or spring constant the k depends on nature of the spring or nature of the material or spring this spring is made up of steel this spring is made up of steel suppose i am applying the pi newton it changes the position from 5 cm to 1 cm suppose it is made up of some other material tungsten or nickel or any other material if i am applying for this material it is made up of iron changes 5 newton 1 cm changes but it is made up of some other material it instead of 1 cm it may be 2 cm or 0.5 cm so f directly proportional to x but proportional to remove the keep constant that k is called spring constant the changing the displacement distance when the force is applied depending upon the material or materials made up of the material any material it is made up of tungsten or it made up of iron or it made up of copper whatever may be so the k value depending upon the material any whatever with the given material when the force is applied you have directly proportional to x but sada at another material the f directly proportional to x for the k may be differ k may be differ so the k is called spring constant or force constant so k depending upon nature of the material k depending upon nature of the material suppose when the force is applied the body changes the position is storing energy what energy potential energy how to calculate the energy for the formula work w is equal to 
एफ एस कास्टीटा वी नो डब्ल्यू सी वर्ल्ड टू एफ एस कास्टीटा व्हाट इसे ये वा वा डब्ल्यू वर्क कि आ वर्क डन बाय द फोर्स सो द चेंजिंग द पोजीशन आई एम अप्लाइंग सम वर्क ऑन द बॉडी बाय यूजिंग द फाइन न्यूटन और टेन न्यूटन एनी अदर सर्टेन फोर्स द बॉडी चेंजेस द पोजीशन फ्रॉम ओरिजिनल टू सर्टेन डिस्टेंस सो दैट इज द वर्क इज सेड टू बी डन ऑन द बॉडी बाय द एक्सटर्नल फोर्स सो वर्क डन डब्ल्यू इज इक्वल टू एफ एस कॉस थीटा एफ रिप्रेजेंट्स अ फोर्स एफ रिप्रेजेंट्स अ फोर्स एस रिप्रेजेंट्स अ डिस्प्लेसमेंट ऑफ द बॉडी डिस्प्लेसमेंट ऑफ द बॉडी सपोज this is a spring it is a natural length it is a natural length i am applying the force on the body certain force the body changes this is l it is dx distance see it is a natural x is equal to 0 x is equal to 0 some force is applied on the body the body changes small distance from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to certain value x is equal to certain value so there is a work is said to be done on the body that work done store is a energy that energy is called potential energy so u w becomes u u is equal to f dx cos theta i am applying the force yes is a displacement the displacement yes is a dx changes small distance it may be 1 cm to 0.1 cm dx cos theta so we know that the formula of theta theta always the angle between the force and the displacement the theta angle between force and the displacement force and the displacement are same direction so theta is equal to 0 so f and dx or same direction same direction so theta is equal to 0 cos 0 is equal to 1 theta is equal to 0 cos 0 is equal to 1 so rearrange the formula u is equal to f into dx u is equal to f into dx when certain force is applied in the body the body changes the dx distance the energy stored in a string the energy u is equal to f into dx f into dx suppose i am applying continuously force on the body the continuous the body deform from 0.1 mm 0.2 0.3 0.5 0 x and so on here we have to calculate energy stored u is equal to integral of f into dx so this is small work is said to be done when small displacement occurs when small displacement occur small energy stored in this stream if i am applying the large force from 0 newton or 0 cm to 5 cm the body when the force is applied the change is from x 0 to certain distance x is equal to from 10 cm to 15 cm so where integral 0 to x 0 me initial portion that's a natural length of the spring x certain distance when the force is applied so f into dx f into what is a f force already we calculated the force which is equal to f into x force which is equal to sorry f is equal, f is equal to k into x the k value f directly proportional to k s the k value is suppose f a is equal to plus k x Applied force and the displacement are same direction. Applied force and displacement are same direction. This formula, this is the positive. If applied force, opposite the displacement opposite direction spring force. So F S is equal to minus K X. The minus and indicate that the force is applied on the body along the direction when the displacement is same direction. The applied force is always a positive. so the k value is always a positive so f is equal to plus kx if this minus is indicated that that the spring force is always directly always opposite direction of the displacement okay the displacement and the applied force are same direction okay the displacement and the spring force are in opposite direction in this case i am applying the force in one direction the spring force in this direction so the body displaces from original position to certain distance along the positive x axis 
and spring forces of opposite direction. The spring applied displacement and the force of same direction considered as a positive. Displacement and the force on opposite direction considered as a negative. Consider it. So negative sign indicates it's not a subtraction. The displacement and the force are in opposite direction. Okay. Let's see. U is equal to 0 to x. Limits are lower limit 0, upper limit x. F into dx. We know that. F is equal to k into x. F is equal to k into x. So u is equal to 0 to x. Instead of f, you put kx. kx into dx. Okay. Now rearrange. u is equal to integral lower limit 0, upper limit x. kx into dx. k is equal to constant. You take outside. So u is equal to k 0 to x. x into dx. We know that in mathematical, if we change f a, x into dx, can be written as u is equal to k x square by 2 integral 0 to x. Integral 0 to x. Substitute the first upper limit, then lower limit. u is equal to k x x square by 2 minus. 0 square by 2. So this part becomes 0. So u is equal to k x square by 2. This is the formula to calculate energy stored in a spring or any elastic body. If any elastic body, energy could be calculated by using the formula u is equal to 1 by 2 k x square. U is equal to 1 by 2 k x square. This is a formula to calculate the energy. This energy represents elastic potential energy. Elastic potential energy. Any elastic body. When the force is applied, the body is deformed. Whether compressed or stretching, the body is deformed. Where energy could be called by using the formula u is equal to half k x square. k represents spring constant or force constant. x represents displacement. When the force is applied, how much distance it changes from the original portion. So u is equal to 1 by 2 k x square. This is a formula to calculate energy stored in a spring, any elastic body. Okay, let's see one example. There are two springs. The force supply. There are two spring. Spring number one, spring or spring number A, or you put spring A and spring B. Spring A and spring B. But both are made up of different material, not same material. Both are made up of different material. Its one is made up of steel. Its another one is made up of copper. So K A, K represents spring constant of the first material. Kb represents spring constant of the second material. The force, 5 Newton applied. Same force applied on the body. Same force applied on the body, 5 Newton. In first case, Ka, same 5 Newton supplied. In second case, Kb, same 5 Newton. Two different material. K values are different, but we are applying the same force. We are applying same force. Which one? will do more work. Which spring will get more work to elongate or to stretch? Fine Newton supply. Here also fine Newton. But only the spring constants are different. Spring constants are different. See, which one has to be done more work to elongate or compress? Now we have to calculate. From the formula, when it's stretching or compress, the energy stored on the spring the energy, what is the formula to calculate the energy? U is equal to 1 by 2 k x square. U is equal to 1 by 2 k x square. So U A for energy stored in your first spring, A spring, U A is equal to 
1 by 2 k a x square x a square x a square u b is equal to 1 by 2 k b x b square that's a formula this is the energy stored in your first case the energy is stored in the second case which spring will get more work to elongate or compress that is the question we know that the formula f is equal to kx f directly proportional to displacement so f is equal to kx so x is equal to f by k x is equal to f by k x is equal to f by k now substitute in first case it is a second case in u a energy stored in a first case 1 by 2 k a k a x a square x a square f by k because here the force f or equal same force applied on the both spring so f remain constant f remain constant instead of the x you put f by k so f by k a whole square whole square see u b same k b f by k b the whole square now compare the one k b square 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 cancel f also cancel because u a by u b is equal to 1 by 2 k a by f by k square dot by 1 by 2 k b f by k b square f f cancel k b k b cancel here cancel so u a half of cancel u a which is equal to u a dot by u b is equal to k b by k a u a dot by u b is equal to k b by k a from this we conclude the second body second body has to be to more work than the first body because energy is stored in a second body more than that of the second first body so u a divided by u b is equal to k b divided by k a so energy is stored in a string highly depending upon the k value the nature of the material so the k value is not same for all material k value different for a different material if both both are made up of same material same force is applied the work done there is no difference of the work done if the k value is a deeper there is a work done may be changed because depending upon the k value so in this class so far we have seen energy stored in any elastic material if the material is elastic that means when the force is applied on the body, either it's a compress, sorry, whether it is stretching or compress, when the force is applied, the body changes the position, the body is deformed. Whenever the body is deformed, when the force is applied on the body, some energy is stored on the body. Some energy. That energy is called elastic potential energy. So elastic potential energy could be called by using the formula U is equal to half K X square. We will see. Next topic, the next class. Thank you.